how steroids affect you is, you know, if you're a real emotional person, um, they'll make you more emotional. I just sat at home and cried all day yesterday. It just brings out genetically, you know, the kind of person you are, it brings it out more. And if you're naturally an aggressive person and, you know, you take androgens, it's going to make you more aggressive. What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about good old fashioned roid rage. We've heard it for years, it's always been kind of the stigma in the bodybuilding community that you take roids, get mad, and you start smacking people around, beating your kids, smacking your wife, and it is just a pandemic just running through the fitness industry. So today we're gonna go through it. Is it true? Is any of it true? What are the kind of the claims behind it? What does the typical uh, media think? What do I think? And everything in between when it comes to steroids. And one of the most iconic cases of supposed roid rage being the former WWE wrestler Chris Benoit. Well, the wrestling world in shock today, former champion Chris Benoit found dead in his Atlanta home along with his wife and young son. Police now treating the discovery as a double murder-suicide. That was really where you saw the mainstream media just really put the, the blame on steroids. We learned that, you know, Chris had severe brain damage, was known to drink pretty heavily along with take other recreational drugs. And it was also rumored that his son had fragile X syndrome. It was honestly frustrating um, that the ignorant media find you know one little thing you know one little string one little excuse um, and they start pulling on it steroids need to stop being examined by people in media outlets that literally know nothing about them marijuana use led to manslaughter suicide attempted rape hallucinations and descent into madness we had uh, cocaine uh, was used you know rampantly by the uh, medical industry and uh, marijuana was terrible for you now here's the thing it, steroids Roid rage is 100% dependent on your personality. If you take a timid, calm guy and give him Trin, Halotest, Anadrol, any of the really harsh androgenic uh, compounds, he is not going to haul off and start jumping out at people at stoplights and smacking his wife around. Uh, I honestly think that it's a placebo effect when you get these kind of uh, new guys on this stuff. Uh, that's just kind of a placebo effect in their head. You know, I think it's kind of just an excuse. Um, I think it's kind of the same way people say whiskey makes me angry. Um, now, I may be way off base on this. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But I just I have a hard time believing that you know you can drink whiskey and smack some people around, but you're perfectly fine and lovey-dovey on cosmopolitans. I was that typical teenage kid punching holes in the walls because, you know, I was right about everything and everybody else was wrong about everything. You know, I was in puberty, my testosterone was just, just in me, just going through my veins and I was just a horny, raging, angry kid. You know, I, I think that's pretty typical. As I stand right now at you know 32 years old, I'm just an annoyed person 24 seven. I have a general hate for most of humanity. And over the years, I've been in my fair share of fights. Well, I'm more of an annoyed person. And maybe I flip off a couple more people while I'm driving. And I would like to say that I am not a full on asshole 24 seven. You know, I'm typically a more angsty person. And you know, when I take these super harsh compounds, I just become a little more angsty. These are the guys that bring about the phrase roid rage. Why? Because it amplifies your personality. If you're already a dickhead, if you're already an asshole, well, it's going to make you a super asshole. If any of them truly fuck with my mood, um, is gonna be Halotest. On my last cycle, I had Halotest in there for a few weeks. Um, I was a little more, maybe quicker to the trigger on that stuff. Um, but it was all very, very mild. And if you're any kind of mature human being, um, it is not gonna turn you into the Hulk, you know, again, if you're uh, just a fucking prick 24 seven, well, it's gonna make you a super prick 24 seven. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Smash that thumbs up. I love you, and I will see you at the next video. See you guys.